Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Simone Stewart from Uniquely Me. And I'm bringing you a little difference um, just for this week, um, giving you a little sit down talk and hoping that I am making sense and um, that you're enjoying it. So guys, I need to give you a little update as it relates to what's been happening with me. Um, you may have seen a video. I'm hoping I can just put it out there or somewhere there that you can see what um, I posted. It was in May. I had a, I had a crashing <laughs> um, in incident. Um, and when I say crashing, I mean in terms of my health. I got up one morning now and I was a hot mess. And there are some things I had to do. I had to do some things differently to get myself to the place where I'm at. And I had to change my diet. I had to make sure that I'm staying on my um, my vitamins and whatever medications that my doctor has given to me to help me. Um, I've had to make sure that I'm getting enough rest. And I also had to make sure that I am not carrying, I'm not allowing things to bother me like they used to. Um, I had to unload. And so I'm saying to us this morning that sometimes we are going through some situations and it's telling us that we need to unload, but we are afraid to unload because unloading sometimes kind of make you feel inadequate. And so for me, one of the things that happened to me in the process is that I lost a lot of weight and I'm going to be very honest with you. I have become so conscious of the fact that I have lost so much weight. I remember going to my doctor and I said to her, you know, I am... Um, Am I okay? You know, why am I losing so much weight? And she said to me, Simone, please stop the foolishness. She said, there's so many people who would do whatever to look just like you in terms of losing weight. And then she said, not only that, but you did your executive just a month or two ago and everything came back. Okay, nothing is wrong with you. And I laughed to myself that, you know, sometimes God himself must be laughing at us. Meaning that we are asking him for things. And he will give it to us because I've always wanted to be a slim chick, you know, because my husband likes slim chick. <laughs> and um, and the Lord has made me a nice slim chick. And here it is that I'm, I'm so worried about when I go on the street, what people will think. Because again, we're in a culture where people think that if you're slim, slimmer than usual, that you're sick, something is wrong with you and, you know, all kinds of stuff. I remember the first time I had to go to a function. I I sat in a place and then after a while I got up and I went outside because I didn't want anybody to see me because I felt so um, inadequate, you know. Um, I wanted to take back on all the weight and stuff that I had on. But the truth is that my I've moved into another phase of my life. And in moving into that phase, if I'm going to stay healthy and stuff, part of it is going to managing my weight, managing my diet, not stuffing myself with all the junk food and the fried stuff and stuff that I used to eat. Eat. it's adjusting and so I want to share with you that you might be going through um, this whole new thing that's taking place in your life and you're thinking to yourself um, you're not settled you're not comfortable with it you you are unsettled and you may have even labeled yourself as being unsettled relationships that you thought were going to go on forever um, have fallen apart um, you're changing locations um, things that you thought you would never give up you are finding yourself not so interested in them again because I think there comes a time in our lives when we need to give up some stuff, we need to we need to take a detour to something else because we've become stuck in some things that we're no longer growing in. There's nothing else for us to discover at that stage. And so it's time for us to take a detour. Now that I'm losing all this weight, I realize I have so much. I have a little more energy, guys. Um, I'm sleeping better. I'm thinking clearer. Um, one of the things that I would have shared too that was happening with me is that I was having challenges driving my car. And now I can drive myself comfortably, holding one hand on my steering and just a I got you <laughs> you know sometimes we need we need a change sometimes we need a change and so guys I'm doing much better um I feel healthier I feel good yes there are the days when I when I might overdo it a little bit and so I realize I have to go lie down or I need to um in um increase my intake of vegetable or fruits or water 
right? <clears throat> so sometimes some of the things we need to do is, is, is natural stuff, realistic things we have to do to make good on what we have started. So I'm doing well, guys. I'm doing well. Um, hope you can see me. I am doing a lot better. Um, I've realized too that I need to keep my smile. I need to keep my smile. Yes, I realize that I need to keep my smile. There's something about when you smile, guys. It makes your face just... And so I'm keeping my smile. I'm not allowing myself to frown too much. I'm allowing myself to smile. And so I want to say to somebody, smile, smile, smile. Do you have any questions for me, guys? Do you want me to do a question and answer um, segment? Please put the questions below and um, I'll compile them and then I'll do another video um, to do a question Q&A segment. Anything you want to ask me, please put it down there. And um, once I think it is something I can answer, I will take the time to answer it. All right, guys. So that's it from your girl, Simone. Can I encourage you? Smile, right? Um, smile. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Bye-bye.